have my do it three it's running rep rep firmware rc2 and then the 1.2.2 whatever is most up to date for dsf so the problem that i'm having is that my tramming doesn't work i'll just show you um, i'll start right away by homing all my axes um, so homes y first homes x second um, and then it has a BL touch on there. It's configured with the appropriate offset, which we'll prove in a little bit just to, for you guys who are like, well, I'm just not setting it up right. Um, it's a trigger height of uh, like 3.5 or something like that, which is pretty repeatable. Um, so there, the just triggered. It's going down. Oh, bed's going up. Don't mind the Z wobble. We'll, we'll fix that. Don't worry. Um, so just to prove to you guys that it is correct i'll just do the old paper trick um, i have a macro on here so apparently you need to there's no way to refresh the page from the kiosk mode from what i know so i need to go there so all it does is is exactly what the title is goes to g0 right so the paper is you know, it's it's there. This is this is zero. Um, I'll show you what the what the dialogue says here. Focus. You fuck. There we go. So as you can see, it's zero. Okay. Um, so the problem is is when I try to use automatic bed calibration, either G29 mesh or um, the automatic uh, bed tramming where it tilts your bed, um, it adds an invisible five millimeter offset. Now the configs and everything are on the post above, but so I'm gonna run my uh, macro for bed tram where it's gonna move it. We're gonna move the wire out of the way because, well, frankly, that's the least of my concerns right now. Um, once again, that is gonna be fixed. I have new couplers and all that's gonna be changed around. So it's gonna probe uh, those points. There's a dive height of about 10. Yeah, so it's gonna it's gonna probe all three points. So what it just did right there was it did the auto calibration, which is the G30 with the P3, since I have three lead screws. Again, all of this is in the you know the G code above. I haven't changed any of it, um, but the problem is now there's a new offset that's just kind of chilling around. Um, so what I'm going to try to show you as I move this camera around like a buffoon is I'm going to do the exact same thing we did before. I'm going to hit home all. So it's going to you know home all my axes and all this other crap so we're going to see that you know it does the exact same procedures we did before same button same everything make sure just that stays out of the way again I'll, I'll, i gotta figure that out okay so now the machine thinks it's at z565 now i'm gonna all right see 565k so we're now going to move it back to G0, and of course, I don't, it doesn't refresh, so i got to go to the macros directly. Um, so this is literally this G code right here, is the, it just runs home Z, then go to zero, okay? So it already is home, so there we go. So here's the problem, okay? This thinks it's at zero, okay? Thinks it's at zero. It is not, not, it is not at zero. It's definitely not. We can get this all up in there, move it all around. It's like five millimeters off, give or take. So just to prove to you guys that, you know, I'm not just macroing like a like a piece of garbage or resetting something dumb or, you know, whatever it is, right? We're gonna go into edit file. That's it. That's all this script is. That's it. So there's my problem. Like, you know, this is 
this is all gonna be pretty pretty clumsy. I just wanted to have a you know a continuous um geez, Louise. This is not G0. And I just want to have a continuous record just to show you guys exactly what I'm doing. There's no extra steps, there's no miss nothing. This is not the zero that we had before. And this is only solved, we rehome twice. Now once in the uh, once in the tramming procedure and then once now. And it does not find its new home until I reset it. So there's something in the firmware that's causing this. So really appreciate it. Just, uh, <laughs> I'm looking for some help. I'm not a software guy yet. So I, I just really, really need something. Thank you.